Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video and I'm super excited because this is a topic that I see a lot on YouTube and this is like something that us as readers have to deal with sometimes. You never know when you do. And as much as we love to read, you can't always avoid a reading slump. Sadly, it is. It happens and of all the things we have to deal with, from dealing with annoying non-readers sometimes when they were like, do you have to buy so many books? Or, why do you read all day? Are you gonna read all the time? Why don't you hang with me? Why do you do this? You know, all that stuff and, oh, don't forget those pets that like to sit on your books. What do they think it is, a bed? But anyway, so a reading slump sucks because it's like something a part of you is taking away, something that is taking away your joy of reading and you just need to get out of it so you can get started and especially if you run a booktube channel you have to do reviews and if you can't read how can you do a review unless you want to review books you already reviewed or read a long time ago I guess I guess if you want to do that but you know it just it, it just sucks so in this video I'm going to talk about some of my tips to help you get over those reading slumps so one of my first tips is variety is the spice of life and so I like to keep variety when I read I don't like to read the same genre for like so long I like to switch it up a lot it helps me keep me from reading slump from getting bored or feeling uninspired like if I read one week a dystopian I'll switch it off to a fantasy book and then maybe a contemporary a love romance and also I like to try new things so that always helps because you know sometimes reading a whole book like going a whole summer of contemporaries it could get really boring especially if you're not really into contemporaries or even if you are you could totally like feel like that they're all the same after a while so it's like god they're all the same love triangles every single book I read in urban fantasy has this badass boy that has a bad mood all the time when will I ever find a boy that is in a good mood and is a nice guy that just happens to have a bad past I don't know but you know just read something else or read from a different point of view maybe if you're a girl read from a guy's point of view and then a guy read from a girl's point of view or maybe read from a different country or something anything but just don't read so many from the same genres because one is also helps I mean why not support those authors from other genres you know help get them around so at least helps uh, secondly um, I would suggest also visiting a bookstore because sometimes on the bookshelf the books on your bookshelf if you don't have a lot of books it could seem very boring after a while and you're tired of seeing the same one every single day and you're just like I don't feel like reading any of these. I don't want to read. I don't want to read this book, or I don't want to read this book because I have it. I read it. So, so if you read everything, you went to a book sale, or libraries are always great because you don't have to buy anything and you can just read it. And if you don't like it, you can just return it, and no cost to you, unless you stacked up on a lot of fees to the point where you're owing thousands of dollars then I don't know I mean you must be very forgetful so but you know it always helps to go to a book sale or a book library especially if you go to a library outside of your area and one that you've never been for and if you went to something like maybe uh, the one that you see on like maybe like the Hogwarts style or something like that or um, i never been to it, but I live so close by to the Library of Congress. I live, live like an hour away. I'm in Virginia, so if I were to go to D.C., it just would be so much fun and make me excited. So It's all in my dreams someday. So, And if you're from the D.C. area or D.M.V. area, let me know because maybe we can all go. So it would be so much fun. Um, my third tip is movie trailers movie trailers are always awesome and usually sometimes I get nervous about a movie you know like a book being turned into a movie that I've never heard of or a book that I'm excited about but sometimes I do think that movies do actually help 
uh, the author get around because think about it like uh, think about all the books that you weren't sure about that you passed on or you just never even heard of because it's been created like years before you or actually never even heard of like the gunslinger until I saw the trailer or even like the glass castle my sister always had it and she always mentioned about it but I was like eh, I don't want to read it and sometimes the, the book covers are not really that great so what you see a trailer it looks really interesting and so that's what makes you want to read that book and if you that actually will get you excited especially if it's fast paced it looks like something that you will read and you know you like to read the book before the movie so it gets you excited and especially if you have other people in your life who also wants to watch the movie and who's waiting for you it'll just get you to read it mm-hmm mm-hmm let's see another tip is try not to read a thon series I mean sometimes it's unavoidable if you read a series and you want to know what happens next because of that crazy cliffhanger that always seems to happen at the end but if you are reading a series like that's very slow paced and very chunky, I would suggest like not to read it on it. Like read Lord of the Rings. I mean, I tried doing that and by the time I was like at this third book, I was like exhausted, but for some reason I kept on going and afterwards I was like on a reading slump. And it just kinda like, you know, I couldn't find anything else to read, so because it was just so exhausted from so many it was like a brain dump so you know it's like brain dump of information dumped into my brain and I couldn't filter anything out so mm -mm. Uh, that's also the mistake I made with the Robert, uh, Robert Langdon books I love them but at the same time there's so much information in those books and so many questions it just even keeps me from going to sleep because I just want to know if it's true yeah, so I don't recommend doing that all the time. So, you know, and plus you should enjoy the series at well it lasts. So don't read it all at once. Even if it, uh, you know, especially if it's old, you know, you don't have to be in a hurry. So, and lastly, I would say take breaks because breaks are very important, not just for reading, but just for anything that you're working on. Because one, it's good for your soul. You know, it gets good for your soul because. Um, many of the things that you're missing out on just because you're reading all day, you know, it's really good for you to experience those things. Like, if somebody says, hey, let's go to D.C. for today, so you should go to D.C. for today. You know, take a break. And especially if you're a readathon, you've been trapped inside the house for seven days straight. You read, you did it, you did all the challenges. Now you deserve some ice cream, so... No, ice cream all the time so because that's unhealthy but you know it's good for you and maybe watch a movie do something that isn't really reading I mean you can go to a book search you want but just don't read the books but you know just do something that makes you feel good but has nothing to do with reading and then afterwards you will feel like reading afterwards I mean if you don't then read a short book I guess read a Dr. Seuss book so that's always nice yeah, so those are pretty much my tips. Let me know in the comments below if you have tips of your own. And if you like uh, these video and you want to share around with other people that is dealing with the same problems, um, it would be nice. Uh, click on the thumbs up too. And uh, do subscribe because I'm going to be doing a review on Crooked Kingdom soon. And it's going to be so much fun because so far I'm enjoying the book. So I love the characters. So at least now you know it's 